Alright, we come back. So far we have discussed the way in which a filter modifies the amplitude of the various frequency components in a signal. However, reactive circuit elements always introduce phase shift in addition to amplitude effects. The concept of phase refers to the value of a periodic signal at a specific moment within a cycle. As a result, when we say that a circuit causes phase shift, we mean that it creates a misalignment between the input signal and the output signal. The input and output signals no longer begin and uh, end their cycles at the same moment in time. The phase shift value, such as 45 or 90 degrees, indicates how much misalignment has been created. Each reactive element in a circuit introduces 90 degree of phase shift, but this phase shift does not happen all at once. The phase of the output signal, just like the magnitude of the output signal, changes gradually as the input frequency increases. In an RC low pass filter, we have one reactive element, which is the capacitor, and consequently the circuit will eventually introduce 90 degree of phase shift. As with magnitude response, phase response is most easily evaluated by examining a plot in which the horizontal axis indicates logarithmic frequency. By looking at this plot, we can observe that the phase shift is initially 0 degree. It gradually increases until it reaches 45 degrees, which is at the cutoff frequency, and during this portion of the response, the rate of change is increasing. After the cutoff frequency, the phase shift continues to increase, but the rate of change is decreasing. We can also observe that the rate of change becomes very small as the phase shift approaches 90 degree. Thanks for watching and see you next course.